It's like the Rubik's Cube of shit fuck. <sighs> wait, wait, sorry, go ahead. Can you, do you think if Full Metal Alchemist, if, if the dad was a furry, that we would have Alphonse in a fursuit? That's a horrifying thought I had recently. I'm, I'm not following you, actually. Like, like which, which dad? Their dad, the one that, like, had the suit of armor in his study. Okay. In Full Metal Alchemist. The real dad, I think, was. Yeah. Can you imagine if, like, I don't know. I was thinking that of all the things they could bind him to, thankfully they had a full suit of armor. Oh, oh okay, now, now I get it. He, like, you had to explain the joke to me before I thought it was funny. I'm sorry, man. Okay. Uh, I'm not really sure what we're going to talk about today. Uh, uh, like, do you have any ideas? Um, we talked about comics, we talked about an the state of animation. Oh yeah, I mentioned uh, Goblin Slayer just came oh, out. Oh yeah. Uh, the whole internet is just losing its shit over it. It's saying, you know, oh, it's so disgusting, it's depraved. Is it like rape and stabbing things? Yeah, it's like uh, the goblins rape women, the Goblin Slayer just brutally murders goblins. And that's the whole show. Uh, and they're saying, you know, oh, it's so depraved. And but like, these people have never actually seen the anime from the 80s and 90s, have they? No. Fuck no, like... You got, like, because you got, like, OVAs from the 90s where, like... People are just, the eyes are just like exploding out of their heads and like. Everything a fist of a North Star. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. That's right. You are already dead. Uh -huh. It reminds me like a, the, the video game just came out of that. Oh, is it good? Uh, I've heard it's good. It's made I, by the same guys who made Yakuza. I really hope he can play as Jaggy. He, uh, the video game, the last one they made, he had my fair line. Or, you know, say my name, bitch. He was basically, he was a Call of Duty player. Yeah, it was uh, lurking the uh, Sad Husband Short Box Discord. They meant, like, I think they were talking about Goblin Slayer. and uh, Or no, it was uh, Randall's uh, Twitter. He, meant, he mentions Goblin Slayer. He's like, you know, the, the one big problem I have with Goblin Slayer is that it, it's not gory and sexual enough. It's like, does, does like, when, like, yeah, there aren't enough, uh, something, something like, there aren't enough uh, female adventurers who fall into rape traps. It's like, is there a girl who gets, like, is there a girl who gets so pregnant that she explodes? No. Four out of ten. Skip it. Like and subscribe for more of that. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. By the way, um, I went to talk about this because it said like and subscribe and it had me have a post-traumatic stress disorder flashback from yesterday. So I'm at the library and I'm playing, okay, fuck it, I was playing Yoshi's Story on an emulator on a browser thing. And I play it and I look over to the little bastard next to me. He's watching YouTube. And, this, and it's, they're playing some fucking game about breaking into some guy's house or some shit like that. And I'm watching, him, uh, the, you know, they do a little thing in the corner and go, Guy's not even fucking talking, and I can tell that I want to shoot the bastard. He's got his kids there, and he, and like, I can barely read lips, but I know he's saying, like and subscribe. Just like that, from how he's moved, and I go, fuck, he said six times this goddamn up, I'm killing that bastard. And he has a little, little bastard mongoloid kid on there. <laughs> kid probably needs a goddamn helmet when he's not on camera to keep him from headbutting the others. I'm sorry. I hate those Fortnite kids and everything they like. Yeah. I've seen the uh, critical like show like videos of like the trending YouTube videos and just how awful they are. One was uh, something like that where it's like, oh, I broke into my own home. Like and subscribe. Check out how crazy this is that I went into my own home and stayed there for 24 hours without anybody noticing. It's like, I do that all the time. Like, I, I, I don't get a million subscribers on my videos. Good. No, it's only cool if you break into your own house and kill the entire family and leave when you realize it wasn't yours. Yeah, yeah. That'd be a funny idea. Not funny idea. That'd be an idea for a sort of thing. Well, Manson already did it. No, what? Manson did it. No, like Manson killed the wrong family. Like, fuck. <laughs> That's what the new uh, Quentin Tarantino movie is going to be about. Ah, oh, wait, are you making a Manson film? Yeah. It's going to be, like, mostly truthful, though. Oh, That's cool. what I understand. Oh, man. It's a biopic is what they call it in Hollywood. Man, you know what fucking, I'm sorry, serial killers are no longer, like, they've lost credibility in my eyes. Not sure they had credibility, but they lost some. And they used to be cool, now, like, school shooters have made them all lame. <laughs> You're not far off, because, I'm, no, not like that whole shit, don't take that context, but, like, um, 
there's this anime girl, fo- anime boy serial killer trend on Deviant Art where they draw them as like Kawaii. Oh. That fucking makes me hate those little goddamn little kids. Oh, I remember back when uh, they did that stuff for like Jeff the Killer and uh, yeah, now Ben Drowned. Hey, b- 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 Ben Drowned fucking suck is this Jeff the ki- ki- Killer. Wow, that's not a bad t- uh, Jimmy impression from South Park. Anyways, and now we're like, so fuck you, I got Charles Manson top him, you split Charles, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, next thing you know, you're gonna have like Columbine Yowie ships. <laughs> oh, I, I think there already are. I might actually be confusing that with a Chris Chan fan art. One of, uh, like, there's like, like at the end of one of the comics, uh, is like, remember Clyde Cash? Oh, yeah. And like, where him and uh, Jack Thaddeus uh, jump down an elevator shaft. There's like fan art of them embracing tenderly before they like jump into the, like the flaming elevator shaft. <laughs> Yeah, man, flaming elevator shafts are really underused trope, you know. You know that was in Spider-Man Four, actually, or like Spider-Man PS Four. That's how they had that in. Yeah. By the way, do you know what I really want? Unfortunately, Sonichu doesn't show up in that game. I know. I, there's also a fucking like. Apparently, there's a there's a reference to Family Guy in that game. Like I, I found that out because I was looking up uh, like thumbnails for episode fifteen, yeah. which are already out right now. But uh, I, I just googled uh, Spider Man Family Guy, and like one of the results was a screenshot of the game with uh, Peter Griffin like superimposed in the screenshot, yeah. and it's like here's a hard to find uh, Family Guy Easter egg in Spider Man PS4, and I'm like, really? I'm like it wouldn't surprise me. You know what? What I think is like the tackiest villain idea. There's a villain called Speedball or some shit like that. No, maybe not Speedball, something like that. They're the streamer supervillain. They stream their crimes and they like have like vote on which person gets their dick shot off. That is like, you know, Kevin Feige, we have to be contemporary. Make a stream. I don't know how that's going to sound. I held it close to my mouth for effect. I think it'll work because it's like... Both of these are, like, different speakers. <laughs> I just picture, like, Marvel Studios, like, you know, Stan Lee's hobbling down this hall, and then there's the board of directors, and you walk, and it's fucking Evangelion. By the way, speaking of game earlier, there's an Evangelion game for VN64. Yeah, I remember that. I played it. Oh, that's um, I think you mentioned that on the Ava episode. I actually didn't know about it until recently. Oh, okay. I know there's one on the... Or, no, there's one where, it's like, a simulator. This one's, like, you have to reenact parts of a game, mm-hmm. or the anime. And playing it, and they play the song when everyone fucking dies from end of Eva, and you're like, wow, I haven't even seen this fucking movie in years, and I feel bad. It reminds me, uh, like, have you seen the trailer for uh, Enter the Spider-Verse? Yes, one of them. It's, uh, like, there's one where they show uh, Penny Parker, who's, like, the little anime girl version of P- Pure Parker. Oh, no. And, uh, well, actually, like... No, not that. That's not the bad thing. She has the giant spider robot, right? Yeah. The bad thing is you said little girl on the internet. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, yeah, that's kind of the, again, the calm before the storm. Yeah. But, uh, and, like, everybody's, like, mentioning the man of Shad. To, but, like, of course, when people ask him to do that thing, he's not going to do it. The yeah. same, same with Bowsettes. It's like, yeah. he just he... skipped that for, like, on purpose. By the way, we need Shatterman. Mm-hmm. Shatterman? No, he, he, he just shoots, like, I don't know. Jizz. Uh, yeah. Or, like, ropes, I don't know. Yeah, Whatever thick white thing. ropes, yeah. Uh, but, like, it's funny because uh, Penny Parker, I didn't realize that, that uh, it was, like, an Elseworlds spinoff comic. And it actually was based around uh, Evangelion. Um, in fact, like, there's a classroom scene where uh, she's, she's in a classroom and there's Ray, Asuka, and Shinji in the background of the classroom. Oh, fuck, this changes. And the, and the comic's written by Gerard Way, so... Uh, Who's, uh... I'm sorry, man. I might have to read that now only because of that one Easter egg and send it to Ava Geeks. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, that's already a screenshot online. So, uh, yeah, you could just send the screenshot to them. Yeah, oh, man, like, I don't know many Ava Geeks who are still in contact with me. We split our ways. Mm-hmm. We, we fucking buried that demon. It's still active there, but it's none, none of the OGs. Yeah. Like, whenever you mention the Ava Geeks forums, it always makes me think of uh, Vine Sauce doing the expose on the Ice Chewers forums. Oh, God. Like, how bad was it? It was like, uh, you got to the point where there was a thread on milk ice, and saying, I've, 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 I mixed milk ice with lemon ice, 
even though it's bad for me, I still do it. I, I, and I gave some milk ice to my little cousin once, and he's like, okay, okay, we're, we're, no, we're not going to look at this anymore. So this is really weird stuff. And I think that goes back to what we were talking about in one episode about like how yeah, how there used to be all these like little little tiny niche circles throughout the internet, but now with social media, they're all lumped into... Yeah, Reddit killed Ava Geek. Yeah, Reddit, Facebook, yeah. <laughs> If there was one thing I can thank Reddit for is killing that fucking website, mm-hmm. well, not killing it, you know, crippling it. Yeah. Until Facebook dies, it'll be crippled. Oh, you know what I've been thinking about with the Spider-Verse? Do you think that they'll see the Sam Raimi Spider-Verse? Like, I know they make references with their main Peter Parker, like, fucking have, like, photo, like, and pose to McGuire show up. <laughs> well, I mean, there's a petition, uh, change.org petition, saying, you know, put actually have Tobey Maguire in the movie as a cameo or whatever. That'd be kind of awesome. Have him and Stan Lee fighting. Yeah. Have him rob Stan Lee. I'll stab you, old man. He goes over my fucking body. You know, there's a like there's a video on YouTube. Uh, it's five minutes long. Every grunt and scream that P- Toby Toby Maguire does is Spider Man in all three Spider Man movies. Uh, uh, uh. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. I I, I, lo- I love his facial expression. He too. does. Um, what's what's it called? Like chewing the scenery when you yeah. do weird faces. He's fucking the cow chewing that cud. Mm. And you, like, I wonder what he's been doing nowadays. Like, I hear he does stuff, but uh, I don't think he acts anymore. Yeah. From from what I remember hearing, he should get back into acting. No, you you do have. Ha- oh fuck! I saw the nun. I went out by the nun. Can you talk about the nun? Sure, yeah. So um, here's the story. My mom and my sister went to Catholic nursing school. I mean, mentioned this before. My mom turned out she was pregnant with me during Catholic nursing school, and they found out she was unwed. And they, and you know, nuns are evil, predatory beings. And the Velociraptors, yeah. Yeah. You're making a Jurassic Park joke now. I'm kidding. Well, no, like that was in the episode I was editing. Oh, oh shit! Did I make that joke? <laughs> Damn it! Well, um, so if you want me to watch it, and I saw the movie It, and I won't lie, I was jumping out of my seat because it was good. None was not good. Mm-hmm. You, you know how he said it turns into an action movie? Mm-hmm. It would have been a better fucking action movie. Mm-hmm. I want to see, like, a, that'd be kind of cool. Have, like, a, but here's the issue. It's like, the scariest scene was the first one. Because the first fucking scene shows you all the scares they'll be doing. Like, look, she can walk through mirrors. Look, she can open doors. Look, she can turn crosses up and down. Look, she's an illusionist. Fuck you. It showed all the scares. Mm-hmm. The one thing that I did like, because uh, I kept giggling throughout the movie, how many Conjuring movies are there? Uh, Conjuring 1 and 2. Yeah. Annabelle and Annabelle Creation. Okay. And now The Nun, right? Mm-hmm. I heard there's going to be a, one of her, like, what, Crooked Man movie. Mm-hmm. So we're up to 6. This is the worst fucking Antichrist. Mm-hmm. He can't even... All he could do is kill a bunch of nuns. Oh, that's a spoiler. All the nuns in the movie are actually, like, puppets he's controlling for illusions. Mm-hmm. And also, he's not even good at, like, it's like, wouldn't this be a cool scene? Like, when they find out a demon's name and they say his name, have the demon talk to them, like, I will eat your soul, be I don't know. He doesn't even talk, like, his, his name's Valak. His name is Valak. V-E-L-A-C. And all you see is, like, the lights turn red. Ooh. No, that's not scary. That's him turning to damn... I get pissed off. But it was one likable character in the movie. He was a Canadian hillbilly, or close to, you know, Canadian guy with a with a shotgun. <laughs> and my favorite part is, he shoots a fucking zombie nun in the head with a shotgun. That was awesome. Hmm. And then the movie just turned to shit. Because you know how Michael Myers does that thing where, like, you know the original Halloween where they put him all over the background? They tried doing this, but it was way too apparent to nun. Hmm. Also, they had a trailer for a new Michael Myers movie. Have you seen it? A new Halloween? Yeah. Uh, well, I haven't seen the trailer, but I heard that, uh, um... John Carpenter's working on it. Oh, I couldn't tell. Because I, I like John Carpenter's work, but he does a thing where you see Michael Myers bump into the kid, and he's walking very slowly into the house. He grabs the hammer. It's very long, draw a continuous cut, right? And I'm expecting him to pull up and go, Hi, honey, and I'm me. Look at this mask I got. No. It's just Michael Myers. There's no point to watching him walk into the house, grab a hammer, and kill the woman. It, I'm sorry. I, well, that's how the opening of uh, the first movie was. I know, but I, I figured that they would put some twist on it because, you know. 
I mean, it's a trailer. Yeah. It's not like it's the opening to the full movie. It, and it depends on, like, whether or not that's actually going to be in there. Yeah. It, 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 but you did have... It, uh, the other stuff in it looked cool when I was that one big buggy scene to me. By the way, I want to see more horror films where you have an aging actor return. Like, you know, new Godzilla movie, you have, like, a 70-year-old Japanese man who is an extra. Oh, kill this mother... And just have him, like, get, like, a wheelchair and roll down the hall. I don't know. I saw the new Godzilla trailer looks spectacular on the big screen. Like, it's almost life-sized! But yeah, none fucking sucked. Mm -hmm. Surprising no one. Yeah, but I mean, like, it could have had a couple cool moments. Like, no, no. It's comedy was better than it's horror, actually. Huh. Like, like intentional comedy? Yeah. They had this line where, you know, it's, you know, look, there's a ghost child walking through the trees. And the one guy's like, he walks over, pulls across that ground and says, this'll do, and walks away. It's just, <laughs> I left my ass off at that. Or like um, there's a part where uh, they they make a joke where he um, where when they kill the first nun zombie, he has an axe. The priest says you should use a shotgun. And says I think I'll use this in an emergency. He shoots the flaming devil nun and goes. I think that counts as an emergency. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, what's happened to horror films? Uh, I don't know. I, mean, I think that there's been a few essays about, you know, why horror films have sort of gone downhill in the last, like, ten or so years. I, I can't name any reasons off the top of my head, though, just other than the obvious. Lazy producers? Yeah, lazy, pr like, like, I think it's, like, the same, has to do with the same thing I mentioned with uh, bad comics nowadays, is that we're not getting... Uh, writers who are able to take risks, like whether it's from the producers holding them back or if they're just really that unoriginal when it comes to their scripts. Um, like it makes me think about the New Mutants, how that was a, that was going to be a uh, X Men horror film and it got put on hold. I think because um, the studio, yeah, the reshoots because the studio wanted it to be more action oriented, more like a traditional superhero movie. So superhero fans ruining everything yet again. No, I was thinking about this actually. There's sort of this thing that I've noticed that every horror movie sort of there's like a, every decade, like the eighties or seventies had like ghosts and demons, eighties was slashers, nineties was more aliens, maybe, you know. Yeah. Two thousands I think was the era of cheap zombies. Twenty mm -hmm. tens are back to demons and ghosts. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you know, I'm 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 gonna say this. I'm just gonna wait till the next big horror movie is gonna be a school shooter horror film. <laughs> well, there was that. Uh, I think I mentioned it before that uh, that uh, uh, the movie theater, like the one that's like based off of the Dark Knight Rises yeah. movie theater shootings. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what happened to that. I think I think they may have just like pulled it because they were probably facing legal action or something. I'm sorry. I, I'm. I, I kind of want to know what part of the movie he started shooting and hmm. I'm sorry because like I'm, he, he had the Joker hair like he died there to look like the Joker right mm -hmm. I really hope like oh man you know I didn't like this opening I'm thinking like the opening of the trailer is like we live in a society <laughs> he should just be like a guy doing a really bad Heath Ledger Joker in person because there's really Heath Ledger who did a really cool Joker because he kind of sounded like he was half-assing it. You know what I mean? And you put a cucumber on the kitchen counter. Nobody cares. Put cucumber in the baby. Everybody mad. <laughs> Do you know what I what I wouldn't mind seeing? I wouldn't mind seeing. You ever do it in that Joker movie? Yeah, the the Joaquin Phoenix one. I'm kind of interested in it to be honest. What if they do it just like a crime film where he just puts on white grease paint? That'd be kind of cool. That is kind of what uh, the Nolan films were like. They were basically crime films, but with Batman and yeah. uh, other super villains. Uh, true. I also love that Nolan. He kind of went back to the roots. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were very fancy, high-tech roots, but they were roots nonetheless. Uh, you ever have a school shooter video game? Uh, which one? Like Operation Standoff, that where you play as a shooter. You can either play as a or you can play as a shooter. Uh, I, I don't know if I've heard of that one. I remember hearing about a uh, one made in like Gmod or uh, the Half Life engine, uh, but I, I think I might be thinking of something else. One with 2010. Uh, that sounds about right, actually. I think that's Operation Standoff. Okay. Um, uh, there's some talk about putting it back on Steam or some shit like that, like what they did with Hatred. Mm. 
You know that uh, Steam, uh, like not too long ago, they they were publicized as uh, like their fir- like the first uh, uncensored adult game is going to be put on on Steam. What is it? I don't remember the name of it, but it's like one of these uh, anime type. Uh, but I think it was like developed uh, with a Western developer, so kind of like a Huni Pop, uh. but like with full titty. <laughs> You have an image of a dog online going, I paid for the whole titty, son. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I, I love that meme. I just have this mental image of his, like, of his dog online, like, you know. Man, I hope that Steam gets uh, Parasite in the City. I actually downloaded that off uh, the, their website, so I'm, I'm ready to unzip that and uh, play it on my computer. No pun intended. You, you know, like, I played, it's called Huni Pop, right? Or Huni Pop? Yeah. I played it. Really? I actually kind of liked the characters. Hmm. Yeah, some of them are all right. Yeah, like, like the only one that I hated was like the little, like the girl with the smallest tits. Of oh, a raging bitch girl. He's, yeah, the tsundere, quote unquote. I really wish there was like a like an anime dating game where we really had an option. Like it'd be like Yandere, similar except that you're just a serial killer and you like lo- like you know tie up her hands before her parents come home, put her into the cement mix. <gasps> Like, do you have an interesting idea for a game? You play the serial killer and your whole goal is over the course of the main game, hide your murder and make sure you get away with it. Because hmm. you can obviously just chop them up with an axe, then the you know, police are going to come in like, look, there's blood stains on your, uh, your, like, your Crocs. You're going to have to get new shoes or something. Hmm. And it could have this intelligent AI detective who will pick up on, you know, like, hmm, he's acting funny. I don't know. Yeah, like, I don't know, like, you're thinking, like, maybe, like, a Telltale-type game. Sort of. Like, I, like, like, I, think, I think the reason I never got into Telltale games is because I prefer games that uh, give you the freedom to break the game. Actually, kind of more like that, to be honest. Yeah, like, uh, like uh, that's why I always prefer uh, GTA or, um, or like, even the Nintendo 64, like, Mario, like, where you can just uh, go out of bounds and uh, just, like, win through that somehow. Did you know then, like Legend of Zelda, that there's this thing called the it's um for Ocarina of Time, it's called the the free the free slash Navi hop. You slash free times, put the sword away, and use Navi, and you can clip through almost anything. Hmm. Yeah, I I like better stuff. Did you know that maybe the original ending of Luigi's Mansion? Uh, yeah, I think you mentioned it, like he dies or something. No, I turned it wrong. You get possessed by King Boo. Hmm. And apparently, like, there was even dog, you know, it's like my dad works at Nintendo, so I deal, but the guy was Japanese and added some level of credibility to some people's eyes. Where, like, the ending was going to be him going to Daisy's house. And, uh, and, you know, you see him, you know, he turns around, you see it's an evil ghostly. You see doing the, like, shh, and walking in. And then his eyes started bleeding, and he screams. I have a dumb question. If you're possessed and have sex, is that a threesome? It's a good question, actually. Because I, I used to have that with, like, multiple personalities, but there's only one personality at the same time. But if it's, like, possession... And if you think about, like, characters, like, you know, they have those demons that are, like, a thousand demons in one, like, legion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, I don't know, like... Because I think that, like it, dep- like, it depends on whether you're looking at it mentally or physically. Is so physically it's it's just two people having sex. Yeah. And in fact, like if it was in that term, it would actually be the ghost cucking you. <laughs> or no, wait, no. It was it, you would actually be cucking the ghost. No, the ghost is using you. Yeah, but you, it's still your dick. So like he's using your like can you? It depends on if you can feel like your dick going in and out of the pussy. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm just picturing like a new Ghostbusters movie. You get all the original actors back, and the guy walks in and asks this question. Yeah, and then like you have like a ten minute long debate between all these characters. And then it cuts to like uh, Bill Murray's character's name. I forget. I love Ghostbusters. I forget their names. I only remember the actor. It's a uh, Vekman. Vekman. Vekman walks in there, lets like a ghost loose into somebody. Let's find this out. You're the luckiest ghost alive. Mm-hmm. And the ghost goes, "I'm not alive. Fuck you." Mm-hmm. But, no, you know what else I've been wondering about? This is the thing. So, Beast Boy can turn into any animal, right? What if there's a hybrid? So, like, does he determine this by, like, the animal's blood type or genes, right? Or could he, like, misread the gene and only become half the animal or something like that? Yeah. Like, like, what kind of hybrid? Like, say, um, a chimera. Like, half goat, half lion. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, you could probably still turn it, just turn into that whole animal. Yes. Because I remember there was an episode of the cartoon series where he turns into an alien animal. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, did you see the, like, there was uh, the Titans uh, uh, live action series? They did the response to Deadpool or something. And, oh. bas and basically their response was just, fuck you, man. We do what we want. Oh, God. I really hope it. Do you know what you ever thought I put them in? I put them in the Nolan universe for one reason. Fuck you, man. And then it cuts to, like, you know, you know like, fuck you, man. We were big enough, and then you hear, I do not think you are so tough. And then Bane kills them all. Like, I didn't like Nolan Bane at first because I like my Bane being a hulking monstrosity with his human intelligence. No, I like Nolan Bane because he just walks in there and breaks your neck and walks away. Mm -hmm. And he throws you off a plane. Yeah. Now is not the time for fear. That bar sure. comes later. <laughs> that, oh, that comes later. Mm -hmm. No, do you know what I want? I want Nolan Bane in like a Godzilla movie. What do we do? This is a giant rage. Well, what do we do is we break him and it cuts to him in a giant. Oh my god, picture Bane in a giant robot mech doing a voice. I heard one guy, it's one of those green tech stories, but I hope it's true, that he got his job only by using Bane posting. Oh, I read that one, yeah. I hope that's true. Because fuck, that's amazing to me. Man. Hey, did you have to work? Can I talk about my work story? I work at a hotel. And I walked into a guest room and I said, hey, you know, there's some towels in the bathroom. I collect linens and stuff like that. And I drop my radio in the, in right in front of the bathroom door and say, I'll leave it there. I walk in the room and the door shuts behind me. Now, just so you know, if you don't put the key card in, it's pitch black in the bathroom. Door was fucking locked. Door wouldn't open. I was stuck in the guest bathroom for 45 minutes. I, uh, I only got out by breaking the lock, and I apparently became EDP-445 in my dialogue, because I was just... Have you seen that video, I nearly threw hands of a 12-year-old? Um, it's a, it's a meme now, you just put that with, like, fighting for it, I get... It's kind of... EDP has become better. I'm sorry. Okay, I, I, I have nothing to say, man. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. So. Eat that pussy. Oh, oh. That guy! <laughs> have you seen I, I, I spaced out. I'm sorry, man. But like he's never just like I nearly for hands of a twelve year old, and he's and guess how he opens the story? I was taking a mean ass shit, and then he stops, looks a little off the camera, says, "Hold on, I got a fart." <laughs> fucking farts. <laughs> he gives them a minute and then repeats the story like nothing happened. <laughs> Apparently, uh, he um he works in security now. And he beats the fuck out of people. <laughs> I'm sad he's no longer gigantic and fat doing that. Man, I, I love EDP. I call him that because, you know, that's his new YouTube name. Because, uh, for obvious sense of reasons. Have you realized he's never been demonetized? Hmm. Man, I don't follow him, so I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, you know the stuff he says, though, right? Yeah. Like, I'm surprised he hasn't fucking been demonetized. Hmm. Probably because he'll fucking eat the people. Along with the pussy, yeah. I also was thinking about, you know it'd be interesting if they tried to do like the Ghostbusters style reboot? If they did that to like, uh, fucking like, um, I don't know. I would have seen a really shitty like, uh, girls can do a do reboot to something really, really, girls can do a do style reboot to Friday the 13th, have a female serial killer. But she's not like, you know, the, like the cool female serial killer type. Just a really nerd. Like, look, I have an axe. I don't know. You know, improv comedy is, uh, you know, I heard this quote that Ghostbusters failed because it wasn't written enough, mm -hmm. the new one. Yeah. That makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, you know, the original was so tightly written. Yeah. Um, I think we talked about this in the in the, in the video episode we did about uh, yeah. Ghostbusters. Um, but yeah, like, I can see why, you know, that, that would be the case. I was seeing a lot. I'm work. Uh, I've been taking a break from my current story to work back on. It's a horror story with ghosts and psychics in it, mm -hmm. and I've been looking to Ghostbuster for inspiration. Isn't it good that they never had to deal with like? I I remember I was watching. This is a story behind this. I was watching with my stepbrother one of those ghost hunting shows, mm -hmm. and they you know when they have a guy talk like, and they use that for like ghost quotes. 
I swear to God he said, I'm going to rape you. Hmm. And my stepbrother heard that too. Can you picture of a rape ghost monster? Hmm. You know, we're saying, and it's not like Rocky Balboa was saying this. So picture like Sylvester Stallone's ghost haunting people. Actually, it makes me think, because I went back and uh, started replaying uh, Beyond Good and Evil on the yeah. Xbox. And there's actually a scene, like, right at the beginning, where you fight the first boss, mm -hmm. and, like, it says, like, it, like, it has you in its, like, gra grip, and it's, like, speaking to the main character, Jade. And if you connect, if you actually pay attention to what he's saying, it actually gives away the ending, like, to the big plot twist at the end. What would you? Um, I want to spoil it. Um, oh. So, like, it's, like, of all the things I'm willing to spoil, I... Not by uh, good and yeah, evil. Yeah, it's one of my... It's probably, like, in my top... 10, it's definitely my top 10 games. Probably in my top 5. I'm not sure I'm willing to push it that far ahead. Especially now that I'm revisiting it now and it has that old uh, PS2 era feel to it where it's like, not, not. I mean, it's very polished. Um, like, I want to say it's like, like it still holds that uh, quality level for me just by art direction alone. Like, the, the, the entire world just feels alive. And I can't really say that a lot about even a lot of games nowadays. Yeah. Like, even Spider-Man doesn't really have that level of uh, cohesiveness and, like, environments that uh, Beyond Good and Evil has. There's a game that's supposed to come out a while that's set in, like, the Stone Age. And they had this idea that it's a world that, like, is supposed to be extremely alive for a deal. Uh, I don't know when it... I remember why I know Good, Billion Good and Evil. I've never played it. That is my greatest sin as a gamer. I mean, not a lot of people have. I actually went to, and watched the recent, the most recent trailer for Beyond Good and Evil 2, and most of the people in the comments said, you know, I never played the first one. But the Is the new trailer good? Um, it's a little confusing, because as somebody who played the original game, like, they say it's supposed to, like, the sequel is supposed to be a prequel, actually, but uh, as characters from the first game reappear in the second trailer, and it's like... I don't know, like, the fact that it's a prequel is making me sort of wary that they're gonna... Because, like... They're gonna fuck it up. Yeah, because if it's a prequel, then that leads into the first game, then I don't know what the point is of, like, of it actually being... like. Maybe they'll do time shenanigans. Uh, I, I mean, that might actually make it worse, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I, I really hope that the sequels or prequel is good. Um, I just wish, since it's a prequel, I wish it wasn't called Beyond Good and Evil 2. More like Beyond Good and Evil Origin, as cliche as that sounds. Beyond, no, before the good and evil was to be beyond. I, I don't know, just like, I was thinking about this, I was, uh, uh, I used to play this King Kong game on a PS2. Mm -hmm. Have you played that one? I've, uh, I've seen gameplay of it before. Fucking great, it's an awesome game. Because it's really good survival horror when you're fighting the, like, the giant bugs. But when you play as King Kong, here's the cool thing. There's, like, every enemy has, like, 15 different executions on them. So, you, I don't like the Peter Jackson King Kong because, you know, it, it was fucking boring. But the game makes it awesome because, like, beat the fuck out of a T-Rex. Then when you're done beating it up, kill... They had these giant bath... I'm, 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 but the cool thing was if you, like, did all these things, you could see, like, stuff from Beyond Good and Evil 2. And how... I don't know how they said this inspired us to use these like that kind of gameplay stuff to that one is what they said stuff like that. Yeah, I, yeah, the same team that worked on Beyond Good Evil, same director, Michel Ancel. So uh, yeah. Yeah, wait, yeah, he's also the guy who's part of a uh, of the Wild game that I was mentioning. That's why I brought it up. Yeah. He also created Rayman. That's what he's probably most known for. You think Rayman's gonna be in Smash? I I hope so. Uh, it would be cool. I really hope it's... Do you know what I would do with the Final Smash? Rabbids. And here's what they do. It's not just like... When they when they hit you, they steal away your franchise. And they show like a cover, but they're all rabbits. Hmm. Uh, another game I've been playing uh, is uh, the original Deus Ex. Oh! It's actually like... Does it hold up? Um, the first time, first couple times I played it, I've tried... Like, over the, over the years, I've tried, like... I, I couldn't get past the first level, because of... It was either too difficult or I couldn't get the hang of the controls, but now I finally got the hang of, like, how you're supposed to play the game. And uh, it's really fun. It's really cool to uh, figure out, like, all the different uh, strategies and ways you can go about completing a mission. Uh, I think it, I think that what I had to do was just give up on stealth. Oh, yeah. It's like, uh, like, the stealth, like, you can go through stealthily. It's not broken or anything, but it's like... 
it's very different from like the automatic like stuff like Dishonored, where you can just sneak up behind a guy and just like the, the entire Hit guy the, the, the entire guy highlights and glows for when you can yeah. like grab him or whatever. And uh, with Deus Ex, it's more like uh, I don't know. It doesn't have that snap to. Yeah. Quality. You have to like like be like right up like two inches behind a guy before you can use the shock prod and if you miss like if you're like a an inch like further than you should be then it misses and you have to like recharge the whole thing and like you're busted like like stealth games back in the day like that metal gear like they were so much they were so like more punishing yeah like even metal gear free was really punishing Mm -hmm. i remember yeah i love that game i once beat it without killing a single soul without being caught Fucking brutal. And then I went my next game through. You know how you get, uh, have you beat Metal Gear Free? Yeah. Remember you get that infinity machine gun? I just killed everyone. <laughs> I, you know what I really think that what was interesting? Uh, Phantom, or, uh, Phantom Pain was supposed to be a, a game about the boss and you would play as her. And like I heard rumors of be like a boss fight where you kill Volgan's father and Volgan's father was even more monstrous and powerful. Hmm. Can you can you just picture that game and set World War II so you don't get all the cool gadgets? Yeah. You know. Oh my God! And picture picture a diesel powered Metal Gear, a weapon to pollute Metal Gear. Do you know what I'd like to see? To be honest, Full Metal Alchemist Armstrong trying to hype up the Metal Gear. Our, uh, Alex Lisa Armstrong is probably my favorite anime character ever, depending on my mood. Because you know, you know, this technique has been passed down the Armstrong line for generations. Um, with uh, you want to talk about the uh, Powerpuff Girls Dijinshi? Uh, I think we've mentioned this before a couple of times on the podcast. Okay. I keep mentioning it for you to read it, and I'm reading it. Yeah, I haven't got to where it's really weird, but just like. I got to the Butch Boys here. Is that their name, Butch Boys? Uh, the Roger Rough Boys. Rod, R- R- Roddy Rough Boys. Let's get the <laughs> the correct instinct for a lot of people most of them. But, um, bad joke, I apologize. But, um, I've been trying to, you know, I'm, it, it's weird to me. Because it's, I call it Animangle is what I'm calling it. Because yeah. you can tell it's cartoon and anime. And they're trying to have a beautiful fusion. But one always overpowers the other. Yeah, it's 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 really interesting as a time capsule back into the Fuck. early to mid two thousands. Like I feel old because I got, I even forgot I couldn't recognize the character. Like who's that kid with the brown hair and the glasses? Yeah, there's a lot of or like old. Uh, does Robot Jones show up? Uh, I want to say he does. I don't know for sure. I I I will fucking commission Bleed Man to do an issue where they have Robot Jones get like raped and murdered. Uh, well, uh, like the same panel that you showed me, there's uh, Otto from Time Squad, and there's also uh, Og and Mike from Mike Lou and Og. This, uh, oh, that's the guy's bubble? That's, that's the one where uh, the kids are on the island. Oh, oh. I don't know if you saw that one. No. Um, yeah, Billy and Mandy look fucking weird. Yeah. Like, Billy didn't look human, and Mandy looked like she's a human with skin being pulled over an insect. Mm-hmm. Does this get weird? Yeah, you haven't made it to the secret lab part. Oh god. So you're in for something. God, um, I like I'm kinda worried. I didn't know it was a Dusinjin or a Dusinjin. Doshinji. And that's one that's one thing that confused me because I had never heard of that term before. I know a term, it's just, I thought it was just called Powerpuff Girls D. And like there's a reason they shorten it to D because Dojinshi for those unaware, Dojinshi means porn. Porn, yes. Uh, porn fan comics. Porn. Yeah, so like, like, usually, like it's either referred to that or par- like, it's basically parody. the same as parody or porn parody so this is usually what it refers to. The Wood Rocket Powerpuff Girls D adaptation. Yeah. God, like, I remember I used to read the Shinji of Evangelion. Yeah. Not, cause, not for very obvious reason, because they're all fucking horribly wrote. Like, it's not even good porn. Like, we just one where, like, Ray becomes a cat girl, and they, then they reveal Gendo doesn't like cats, so he sells her. And, like, he fucking slave trade sells her to the blonde scientist mother who's a cat lady. Who happens to be a MILF. But it was that, like, like, you know they do that, like, what's that, you, you, 
Yu Ho Hakusho. Yu Yu Hakusho. Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh my god, I feel like I'm having a goddamn stroke here. But you know we do that style of that era of anime with the gigantic eyes. Picture that on an Evangelion style character. I surprisingly can, actually. I can, it just looked weird. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I? Oh, did you know that Hitler was an artist? He quit because he couldn't get perspective down. Yeah, I saw like I, I saw one of his pictures, and people were like, it, like it was the one time where that uh, like you see this picture. This is like Hitler's art, artwork or something. That, that meme was used correctly, and then they, they pointed out like you know this building doesn't make any sense. Like the, the, the slope is like covering one of the doors or whatever. No, you're picturing. Some art teacher says, uh, you don't know how to draw perspective. You need to put things in perspective. And then this, like, nerdy teenager, like, joins the army. Hmm, genocide, eh? No, I said Genocide. Ever play the Metal Slug games? Uh, yeah, actually. Is there a gory game in the series? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, because, like, I, re I vaguely remember a game that was like Metal Slug... But it was gory. Sounds familiar. I'm not sure if I can name it. It's off yeah. the top of my head. A random thing I found out. The evil dictator's Canadian. I don't know why I laugh at that. Just evil Canadians. That might have been a Metal Slug game. I'm not sure. Yeah, because I was playing with him and, you know, and I opened, like, hit a guy point blank a rocket launcher and no blood. Hmm. Also, there was a Mega Man game on the N64 I found out. Yeah, it was uh, Mega Man Legends. Yeah. yeah. Like that's that one's like kind of a cult classic nowadays. Is it good? Um, I keep hearing people mention it, but I don't hear many people mention if it's good or not. I don't know if it's held up as a, as a thing. I I've been playing uh, uh um, I've been playing uh, Mario Party on the on the Game Boy Advance on an emulator, and here's my impersonation of it. Look. You have to do this really easy task, and then like you know hit this one button, and then like. And then if you fail, because it's easy to fail because the game's incredibly difficult, even more than usual Mario Party, the character's like, in single player, you have to, like, beat every uh, minigame to unlock it, and you have to do these quests. You fail a quest, it's not like, oh, no, try it. It's like, you fucking ruined my life. I fucking hate you. I hope you all die. I hope you have a thousand years of bad luck and harvest, and I hope your father gets fucked by a cow. And then it just cuts back to, you lost a turn. Also, apparently, um, they really wanted to do, like, um, a suicide joke in the game, and, and, like, they wouldn't allow it for Nintendo in either culture. It was going to be, like, a, if you failed helping out this, um, you know that, that butterfly weird dude? It's the Wiggler with wings. Or if you failed him, they were going to, like, show a noose descend from the ceiling. Well, speaking of suicide, I heard that James Gunn is now assigned to direct Suicide Squad 2. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah. He's a good director. He might actually do okay with it. I mean, I'm hoping that uh, 2019 is going to be the year that uh, DC redeems itself. Like they, just drop, like, they just drop what they had originally with the Cinematic Universe stuff and just let, like, what Shaz like Shazam, that looks pretty good. He better have Killer Croc become an, uh, like a, a good character, like, doesn't get killed off. Because Killer Croc was my favorite part of Suicide Squad. He made the movie for me. Yeah, if DC starts giving the directors more creative freedom, then they might stand a chance against Marvel. Yeah. I just want to picture, like, you know, back, like, DC was winning the movie fight for a while. And then all of a sudden, Marvel, like, you know, took, like, uh, uh, took a Senzu bean and beat the fucking shit out of DC. Yeah, they dropped Mar Iron Man, and then yeah. they just coast off of that. Yeah, like, Iron Man, you know, now we're fighting a fucking Hulkbuster. Now you know what I want to see? A Thanos Buster armor. That might be what they're doing for the next movie. Can you picture what, like, it would, no, do you know what it'd be doing? It's powered by fucking, I don't know. Hey, do you know what I think is my favorite about Bleed Man? Like, there's parts where his art looks really possibly passable. Well, I mentioned to you, like, uh, th like his character designs, like, drawing humans, they're kind of wonky, but one thing that he's always been good at drawing is, is uh, Max yeah, monsters Max? and Max, yeah. Um, yeah, you can see, you can tell whenever he's, like, even today, when he's trying to draw, like, uh, 
like armor then it always comes out looking like robots like armor and stuff because like there's this piece they did of steven universe and uh, garnet the one with the big uh, like gauntlet hands yeah it, it has that sort of like mechanized look to it does he take commissions um yeah he does because like i had this idea for a story that's basically it's for crusades but they have giant robots i wouldn't mind commissioning him to draw some of the characters or I yeah, like mechs are really cool. I'm I'm on a huge mech kick and I don't know why. Oh, I think I know. I I, I download the Pacific Rim mobile game because it would give me a uh, free box in Jurassic Park to go live, and all of a sudden it turns out it's a fucking awesome game. But Pacific Rim Uprising's game is more coherent than the fucking film because they actually fix plot holes. Yeah, I don't know. Uh. I actually saw a, a watch a review uh, not too long ago about specific Rim uprising. They had the same complaints that we did, you know, which was the part where uh, the little girl character get her family gets stepped on by the <laughs> giant monster. <laughs> yeah. and they they laughed in the theater too. I'm sorry, that had perfect comedic. I wanted it to be like that, like the the Wicker Man movie where she'd look and you see it burns and the butt comes down. No, like, the whole kaiju should have been the giant foot that flies. Mm -hmm. Do you think they're even gonna try a, a third movie? The greedy money horrors. Yeah, like, I wonder, like, because I haven't checked to see if, like, the second movie made all that much money. I thought it did okay. You know what they should do? Don't go in the future. Go in the fucking past. Have, like, really early mech fighting really early kaiju. I mean, again, that kind of goes back to my problem with prequels. Yeah. It's like... We already know how this ends up. It's like why, why, why do we have to go back? Like the only Actually, wait, sorry. Like the only excuse I can see with a prequel is um, it's one game that just got announced. That I'm actually looking forward to. Uh, God, I, I can't remember the name of the. I can't remember which game it's coming out. Because uh, like I think I'd seen the trailer back to back with Beyond Good and Evil Two. Why can't I remember the name? of what can I remember the game? I don't know. I, no, I just realized that I would do. You make it look like a prequel, but it's one of those wormholes connecting to the kaiju universe that's an other timeline. And in this timeline, the big twist is fucking super... Yeah. Uh, Red Dead Redemption. Oh! That's a prequel. Yeah. And uh, the, the, like, the reason I like that is because like there's really nowhere to go after the end of Red Dead Redemption Part 1. Yeah. It's because like that's at the very end of the Old West. And this goes back to uh, John Marston's glory days. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense for it to be a prequel. And he plays a different character, too. Also, um, do you want to hear why I was about to nitpick? There's actually a Red Dead, a Red Dead Revolver. Mm -hmm. I, I, like, I, want to, I want there to be more Easter eggs to that game. Oh. Apparently it was kind of good. They had like a British cowboy dude. Mm -hmm. And they had a character who was a black dude that they went, uh, flavor <laughs> every time he talked. Oh, there's a big pig guy who uh, they call him the pig, and he had dynamite in his armor. Reminds me of, uh, I think, like, the final boss of uh, the original Manhunt. Or, no, the... No, yeah, like, he was yeah. the second final boss. Yeah, the the, the giant pig man with the, his dick was, like, flopping out. I thought, I, oh, oh, God, that was his dick. I think so, yeah. I always thought that was, like, a, like a loving clock. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. No, no, do you know what I was thinking about recently again? Ever heard of the game Gun? Mm -hmm. I wonder if there'd be a new gun, maybe. I never played it. Uh, I, think I, it's, I think it's still on Steam, so you can pick it up. I don't know how well it runs, though. Yeah, I remember really liking that game, because you could, like, drink whiskey. Mm -hmm. No, do you know what you should do for, like, a, for another game? You know how everything's, like, uh, is either high fantasy or west? Mm -hmm. I want, like, a steampunk video game. You know, you, I don't know. And there's plenty of them on Steam. Like, uh, there's one where you can, where you're the captain of like a airship that's like a zeppelin or whatever. But a good steampunk game. Right, right. So <laughs> not not uh, Order seventeen seventy six or whatever. That I like the setting, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean like the the, the, yeah, the developers were so obsessed with the setting that they forgot to make a good game yeah. in it. Well, no, here would be my steampunk game. You're an inventor, and you have to invent battle robots. You know, yeah. Oh, I want to tell you, I, I'm on a chat and I destroyed an entire chat room and I didn't even know it until I walked in and I realized I've been banned and I started feeling going up. Here's what happened. 
so the con the conversation was if, uh, uh, what creatures and fantasy tropes are you using in your fan or your novels? And I said, I'm using a golem. But my interpretation of a golem is being the, the, the being the child of alchemy and science. And somebody asked me if I was Jewish, and I said no. And I got tired, and I logged off. I asked me how many pings apparently I was pinged. Like a hundred. Two hundred and ninety. And here's the thing, though. So I went on the ever chat, and they were still fighting there. And I told you this. I just posted a selfie of myself because they're the kind of people who, who hate white men, and I did it. I show my final form. You should have posted the picture that I that I did where it's my face oh, superimposed on your head. I should have. That's a that is the most cursed of images. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. They say if you use a creature that's not of your faith, then you must become their faith. Or like, or another one. He said, if you're not African, you can't write fantasy. Or, or use uh, zombies. And I'm like, motherfucker. What? And I asked the dude, he says, well, I'm a black guy. I can write zombies. He said, out of curiosity, where do you live? And he says, I live in, you know, I live in Detroit. And I go, you're American, dude. My dude. Uh, last time I checked, you know, you're not over there. And here's the best one. You're the best one. They said technically, uh, they, well, you can use vampires. They don't belong to a culture. And I'm like, Fuck you. Go to Germany in the 16th century. Were you dying of a blame, motherfucker? Oh, I got pissed. And man, I'm about to go round and round with these guys. I, apparently, I'm, there's a two kind of Discord chats I'm on. Hellscapes that are completely ran by, uh, by 4chan memers. Or fucking SJW prison camps. See, this is why I'm kind of glad that we don't rake in a lot of viewers. Yeah. Because, like, I, like, I can just say whatever the hell I want. Yeah. It's like without any with little repercussion. I think like down the road, if we, if if we ever start breaking in, like we have to change, we have to make a new podcast show and put this on the hidden play. I'm kidding. I, I don't really care. I'm kidding, man. I don't like like, I don't, like I think that the last episode, I think that episode 15, I actually put in like a like a like a second long like picture of a blackface that I edited in Photoshop. God, if, when you do the film, you have to cut this segment out because I want to see how many people saw it. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, it'll have been up for about uh, two weeks by the time this airs, so. Man, I haven't seen about something here. Have you ever realized that of all the tropes they've done, they've never done Frankenstein versus zombies? That'd be kind of cool, like, you know, these zombies show up, uh... Frankenstein has to fight him. Aren't you a zombie? And he goes, no, I'm an undead construct. Kind of like uh, the difference between Spider-Man and mutants. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Wolverine. Sh you never supposed to be a comic where he, uh, Spider-Man was going to date X-23. Hmm. I really hope they do that down the line because I really want to have Spider-Man go, I fucked your daughter. Wolverine said, well, yeah, I fucked your aunt and your mother. <laughs> Hmm. Can you picture, like, what Wolverine, like, I had this idea of a joke where it turned out Wolverine, like, like, fucked, like, every member of the classic Avengers, like, he screwed around with all these different superheroes' mothers. See, I want to hate Cape, or, like, Cape comics, but it's stuff like this that just keeps me a little bit interested. It's, like, it's not, like, stuff that I would, like, actually want to read, but, but just, like, hearing about it, it's like, yeah, that's, that sounds like it could be kind of interesting i also it's kind of like memes where it's like you don't want to hold you you want the snippet not the whole yeah thing. exactly uh but yeah like when i go into the shitty web comics or sad husband short box discord and like i think that one of the big memes that they're pushing for is like or like it's a phrase that they throw around you ever heard of like i mean are you familiar with the term cape shit no it's basically a derogatory term for like superhero comics I hear that a lot around uh, the co board on 8chan. They just like refer to Spider Man or like DC or Marvel as just cape shit. And like the, the like the Randall's f phrase, I think it was him that coined the phrase, is cape cuck cupcakes. It's like another word for superhero fans. God, oh, oh man. I, re I remember something else I was thinking about here. Could fa so you know how fans got the gauntlet and shit? Mm. Do you think that hypothetically you go to Snap Chain and says, I want everyone to agree with my politics? I mean, he has the Mind Stone, so sure, I guess. In reality, what they imply is in power. Uh. 
Hey, do you know what I also want to think about? So Thanos ha killed his mother. They never mentioned what he did to his dad, and his dad never... Like, they mentioned his dad by name in the Avenger movies, but his dad doesn't do anything in the comics. Mm. Well, what did your son do? Well, my son killed me because, uh, oh yeah, I'm ego. I fucking suck at being space dad. Thanos said, oh yeah, well, I, ch I yeeted my daughter into a pit. And they look over, and, you know, and he says, oh yeah, well, my fucking son's a disgrace. I don't know. I don't know. I, my brain's dead. Mm. I was up at 3.30 in the morning. There's this fucking alarm clock that... Uh, here's the thing. Here's what's fucking pissing me off. It has two batteries. One that you can replace. And one that... So you plug into a wall and it charges this one battery. But it's got the fucking internal battery too. So you can take the battery off and you've still got two weeks of power. Mm. Whoever fucking made this alarm clock is fucking designing Ava's. I mean, Evangelians are really cool. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about that. But you don't look a lot like how mechs usually do. You have a big bulky look. Yeah. I mean, they're like based off of Japanese Oni. Yeah. And they've got that sort of like, even a very samurai look, but not like super bulky. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what turned me off at first from uh, Ava, is that they didn't look like Gundams. I don't know. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't know. Gundam nerd. Yeah. I actually think I owned... I don't know if I owned any of the models, but I remember I owned a Zo Zoids model. Uh, once. Um, Zoids was kind of a weird show, when you think about it. Oh man, I remember something. There was a feud between Evangelion's uh, Wikia page, Ava Geeks, and a fucking Gundam fan page. Mm -hmm. It was a freeway war. It's like, uh, Gundam nerds used to raid the Ava Geeks sites and we'd raid them back. Well, they would. I, I would literally just go like, I have bedtime. I'm just gonna look at like Evangelion memes. You know, my favorite thing is there's this argument. Does an Evangelion have a vagina? Uh, I, I don't know. There is a vagina. It's in their back. That's what they put you into. They plug you into its vagina. Because mm -hmm. this was revealed in some script notes when they did the Evangelion like special book. So basically, you're sitting inside a dildo that powers the Ava. In Japanese, I don't know. I'm glad they never make that extremely clear. Do uh, you think it's time to wrap up? Uh, yeah. Oh, I just wanted to put this on film. If your username has man in it, you'll probably be a deviant. Yeah, you mentioned that. Like uh, Bleed Man, Shad Man, uh, what else? Uh, 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 I mean, you're the one who gave me the example. You guys. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hold on. Um, uh, uh, oh, sh uh, maybe I. Maybe it's just those two. I'll do more. I'll print off a list. I'll go and find a list. Well, I, mem I remember when I first mentioned uh, that uh, Powerpuff Girls comic to you. I met like when I brought up uh, Bleed Man. I described him as Shad Man if he was actually a pedophile, because uh, uh, like he does a lot of panty shots. Yeah, like that's the one thing is that when whereas uh, Shad Man's very explicit about uh, like sh like showing his uh, artistic representations of little girls. He like he goes out of his way to say you know. Well, actually, there's a disclaimer on the Shad Base yeah, website. Like, even if they're not 18, they're over 18, right? Yeah. Like, this, and, like, content should not be viewed by anyone. Yeah, but, like, but, like if they don't... But the thing is, like, Bleed Man's very discreet about what he shows, which makes me a little bit more concerned. Because if he was explicit, like, he, like to have that level of caution makes it more suspicious that uh, he that he doesn't want people to know that he actually is into this stuff. Yeah, uh, like, I don't want to say that he seems creepy. Like, I think he has admitted to being a lollicon in the past, oh. but the fact that he doesn't, like, he makes, like, he goes out of his way to hide stuff that he draws that's more explicit. Like, what do you mean? Like, he hides the images or just hides uh, the content? He's done some, like, stuff in his, like, from what I understand, there's stuff in his personal folder that's, like, one of his associates has stated, you know, if you knew what he does privately, you'd be disgusted. So, like, I'm assuming that's more along the lines of what Shadman does, but the fact that he's, like, so secretive about that makes me more concerned. Like, fuck, you know, if someone ever raids his stuff and finds that... I mean, same with Shadman. If, if it turns out that he's got, like, real-life pictures of little girls on his hard drive, then I'll, I'm sure yeah. to disown him. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, fuck. Burn. Uh, well, I don't want to say burn him at the cross. Fuck, burn him at the. I'm cross. just. I'm not saying that Bleed Man is for sure a pedophile, but, yeah, but it's it's more that's like he's. It's I'm more concerned that yeah. he is rather than Shad Man. Yeah, like, like the the more real pedos hide it. They're they're defensive. Exactly. Shadman's like, yo, those swaggins, I don't care. Yeah, like, this isn't real. I'm just going to put this out there to trigger people. I don't really give a shit because it's not real. It's like, yeah. I mean, like, you can see that you can look at that as being like him being like, oh, that's just him deflect, de- deflecting or whatever. It's it, I, For me, it's like I'm, I'm more like inclined to believe that he's like has nothing to hide. Yeah, but, and, yeah, like, so far, he, Bleed Man, something about how he draws the forms are weird. Yeah, like, it's more realistic than what you would see in, uh, like, actual, like, actual Lolly con- I, I'm a little, I'm getting a little sweaty yeah. just talking about this, because no. I can feel the FBI, like, staring at me through my, like, phone right now. Yeah, like, sir, we can see his denim. He's wearing the denim of a pervert. <laughs> no, I said, oh, man. But like, I don't. I, I. It's not how he draws the body. It's how he covers certain areas. Are but... oh, you talking about bleed? Yeah, bleed. Yeah. Man. yeah, because like I think of Shad Man, he does it like. Cause, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of getting them confused because they yes. kind of, their names like, kind of sound similar. Shad Man shows the just like full frontal. Like yeah. I don't care. Look. But, but with Bleed Man, it's like he seems to protect the area. I don't know. Either you know he's worried about being. It's like uh, just enough for me to not get in trouble. Yeah, but there are still visible panty shots. Yeah, I mean, like with the panty shots in the comic, it's like, like, I think that in the recent stuff, it's, he sort of dialed back on that. But in the mid two thousands, he was definitely whenever the characters are flying around or having a fight scene, you just see panty shot, panty shot, every other panel. If I ever did my own like anime parody, I would have like you know. Handy shots rolled over the big, ugly, hairy man. <laughs> oh, God! Remember Pedo Bear? <laughs> oh, God, I remember Pedo Bear. And now we're into, like, mid-2000s memes. Like, I'm just, like, remembering that. You know? Remember. I, I, like, I want to make this, like, horror story where this guy gets dragged down to hell and the guy says, what are you going to do? And the demon's like, I will torture your mind. And then he just like, I'll torture your soul, bitch. And he pulls out like all of the 2000s memes that he made that he remembers that are cringy now. Like, oh my fucking god, there's this person um, in this uh, in the server I run. She must have been fucking frozen 2007. Because she comes up, she actually unironically says, Rar, I'm a dinosaur. And the paleontology nerds are confused. Because like, 75 percent like oh my god you know she's she's a shame she shames us and like there's like this how like but it's a paleontology server so you have to be serious it's not like you can, like shit post on there except everyone shit posts but then there's like this three percent group the other group doesn't care this three percent group is like is she a real girl does she live in my state i think so does she have feet oh oh god you know it's what I oh uh, fuck we had this guy on there, he was um I'm pretty sure a dinosaur zoophile. I'm somehow not surprised. He would only show pictures of dinosaur feet he drew. I didn't fucking know you could fetish size a, a tyrannosaur's foot. He said he can't watch the second Jurassic Park because there's a part where they show a tyrannosaur's foot go down in the mud. Green penis. Wait, that's terrible. I quit.